Hey guys, so we'll see about the ACI programmability. Cisco ACI programmability is open to any language or process that support REST APIs. There are many DevNet ACI developer resources, learning labs, sandboxes and videos along with Ansible, Puppet, Python and Ruby can be found used for programmability. So we will going to learn how to do the ACI automation with the APIs. In the entire course you will able to learn how to set up the Python lab for ACI and how you can perform the ACI changes with the Python scripts. In this section you will see how we can automate the ACI task and run the Python script. So let's start. I'll be showing you some sample script that we can run to perform the ACI tenant configuration. So here you can see one example for demonstration. So let's see, we are going to create a one new tenant here. I'll give the name to new tenant as ACI automation and the VRF that I'm creating here, I'll give the name VRF underscore ACI auto. My BD would be BD underscore ACI auto. Application profile will be AP underscore auto ACI and I'll take two nodes here 101 leaf and 102 leaf interfaces I'll use any two interfaces and I'm here in this example I'm creating one port channel and I'm going to use VLAN 1000 so let's see on the APIC that I'm creating uh, the new tenant configuration with the help of the Python script so let's start okay so i have opened epic now i'll put my username and the password and here i got the login so let me check the tenant configuration here you can see existing tenant which are configured there so total there are 26 tenants are there so here as i've said earlier so i'm going to create uh, this configuration on the epic so let me open the powershell here so I'll open a PowerShell here and I'll need to run the Python script with the help of uh, the PowerShell. So let me start doing the uh, configuration here with the help of the script. So here uh, I'll use Python and the Python script here. I'll need to put the user id of the epic and then i'll need to put the url of the epic and then i'll put the password here so can you see uh, now my change has been implemented and i got the below output showing that my change has got successful now let me check on the epic if my my tenant is created so here you can see uh, I have uh, just created the AC auto tenant and now I'm able to see AC auto tenant has been configured now. So along with this, you can also see the application profile has been created. Under the application profile, EPG has been created and under the EPG, you can see I have uh, mapped the domain and also you can see static ports are configured. So in this way, we have done with the all the logical configuration successfully In the next section you will see how to edit the python script and how you can do the monitoring with the help of the scripts along with this i will help you to set up the python labs so that you can learn and start practicing and do the aci automation and i hope you like the session do register for the remaining automation course so let's meet in the next session for detailed programmability related video series. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.